Namaskar friends. So in this video, I am going to talk about Hathi community. Currently, Parliament passes a bill in which they recognize Hathi community as under ST category. So in this video, I am going to talk about this this type these Hathi community people in which region they are live, what are their history, very briefly, not in very detail, and why it is very important that any community who is marginalized and suffering from suffering for their livelihood, for their health, for their education, government have to provide some mechanism, whatever manner is. So giving them a ST status, and we know that for ST people, there are many schemes program run by the government, the local government, state government, and this central government. So these people benefited a lot and solved their problem. That's why it is important. So very briefly, we are going to talk about Hathi community. Okay. See Hathi community. Parliament clears bill to grant scheduled tribe status to Hathi community in March of this. Okay. So remember the state, state is Himachal Pradesh, okay, in Himachal Pradesh and it is a bill not an act and ST not an ST, so remember everything, ST it is a bill not an act, okay, it is an ST category not SC or OBC, okay, and it is in Himachal Pradesh, not in, not in another 27 states or 8 meetings. So who are Hathi, who are Hathi, I'm sorry, who are Hathi? The Hathi are a Close-knit. What is the meaning of close-knit? Close-knit means bound together by strong relationship and common interests. So the Hathis are a close-knit community who got their name from their tradition of selling homegrown vegetable, crops, meat and wool, etc. at a small market called Hat in town. So in town, a small market is called Hat. Okay. Like for example, in Delhi, you see a place called Delhi Hat. Okay. Near INU. That in the same manner, uh, in Himachal Pradesh, this community basically their tradition is selling homegrown. Remember, homegrown vegetable, crop, meat, and wool in a small market called Hart. That's why the name of the community is Hathis. So the name of the community becomes Hathis due, due to their practice, due to their tradition of selling homegrown vegetable, meat, food, and other uh, objects or other. Uh, Objects in the hearts. The Hathi community, whose men, the men of the Hathi community, generally done a distinctive white head, headgear. In my background, you can clearly see people, uh, people wearing a white distinctive headgear. In my background, you can clearly see all the men, not women. Okay, all the men. So the, here it is said that Hathi community, whose men, generally done a distinctive white headgear during ceremonies. Here they meet all prime ministers, so they wear, wear this. But in ceremonies also, in this picture, you can clearly see. Yeah, they perform some cultural events, so here they wear this white headgear. So in ceremonies, men of the Hathi community wear a distinctive white headgear. Okay, during ceremony, this Hathi community is cut off from the Sirmaur. Sirmaur is a region in the Machal Pradesh, so they cut off from the Sirmaur by two rivers called Giri and Tons. In this image again. You can clearly see these are the Giri, this is the one is the Giri river and this one is the Tons river and this red is spot. This one, this one and this one. Here Hathi community people live. So this people is cut off from the Sirmor. Here it is a Sirmor area by the two river called Giri river and Tons river. Okay. And remember it is Tons divide it from Jansor, Barwa of the Uttarakhand. You can clearly see beyond Tons River is a Uttarakhand state of Uttarakhand camp, and in Uttarakhand, our state, or you can see a place called Jansor Bower, an area called Jansor Bower. In below map, here you can clearly see this one is the map of Uttarakhand. So, here Jansor Bower is located on the border, that means on the border of Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh. So, this Hathi community, uh, this Ton River, Ton divide it, uh, Hathi community from the Jansor Bower area of Uttarakhand. The Hathi who live in Transgiri, this is the Giri river, so they live in the Transgiri area and Jansor Bower in Uttarakhand. So these Hathi live in the Transgiri area of Himachal Pradesh as well as Jansor Bower region of Uttarakhand. So here and here, they live in the Transgiri region of um, Giri, Transgiri, in, uh, the Hathi will live in Transgiri area as well as in Jansor Bower of Bower of 
भवान जनसोहर बावर ऑफ उत्तराखंड सो हाथी क्योंकि लिव इन दिस स्टेट इन टू स्टेट इन हिमाचल प्रदेश एज वेल एज इन सम पार्ट ऑफ उत्तराखंड सो दोन्स डिवाइडेड फ्रॉम द जनसोर बावर एरिया ऑफ उत्तराखंड इन दिस टोन्स रिवर दिस वन इज टोन्स रिवर डिवाइड द जनसोर बावर रीजन फ्रॉम द आई एम सॉरी Yeah, I'm right. So, Tones River divides it from the Jansor Bawal area of Uttarakhand. So, here the Jansor Bawal area, Uttarakhand. So, Tones River divides them from that here. Okay. The Hathis who live in Transgiri area and Jansor Bawal in Uttarakhand were once part of the royal estate of Sirmo. Earlier, uh, uh, in the in, in the past, the Hathis community are part of the royal estate of Sirmo. But nowadays they are living in here in Himachal Pradesh and here in some part of Uttarakhand in Jansor Bawar. And until Jansor Bawar was separated in 1815. In 1815, Jansor Bawar is separated. So and they some Hathi community is go into Uttarakhand and some are living in the Himachal Pradesh. Okay. So remember here. Parliament clear bill to grant scheduled territories of Hathi community in Himachal Pradesh, not of Uttarakhand. Hathi community live both in Uttarakhand as here as well as in Himachal Pradesh also. But ST community is status of ST community is given to the Hathi community of Uttarakhand. Maybe maybe I I I am wrong, uh, but here it is clearly that here clearly it is that Hathi who live in the Transgiri area and Jamsaur Bawar of Uttarakhand were once part of the royal estate of Sirmur. Okay, that means they are living in the Jamsaur Bawar. Uttarakhand as well as in the Transgiri of Himachal Pradesh. That means not only Himachal Pradesh. These Hathi people are also living in some in Uttarakhand. I'm not sure, but as the statement said, it looks like some Hathi community is living in Himachal Pradesh and some in Uttarakhand. And these Hathi communities are separated by the two rivers, Tons and Giri, and they are living in the Giri, Transgiri area as well as in Sirmaur Bawar of Uttarakhand. So I hope you understand the whole idea of. Or whole concept of Hathi community, Parliament given them a passes a bill to give them a ST status, and they live in the most of the Hathi community is living in Transgiri area as well as in the Jansor Bawar. Earlier they are part of the royal estate of Sirmaur, but in 1850 it is separated, and they now they are living in the distinct distinct patches of Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. So in this in this map you can clearly see this is the royal estate of A picture of a royal estate of Sirmo. Okay, a palace there. And yeah, these are Hathi people. You can clearly see they be are a distinct type of topi. Okay, and I think here is some prestige going on. Okay, during ceremony they wear a white headgear, but generally they wear a this type of uh, you can say headgear. So now we are going to solve one question based on Hathi community. First one is the Hathi got their name from their tradition of selling homegrown vegetable crops, meat, and wool at a small market called Hathi in the towns. Yes, this one is correct. Okay. Next one is they are declared as a particularly vulnerable tribal group by the Himachal Pradesh Mint. Parliament passed a bill to give them a ST status, not PPG status. This one is wrong. So which one is correct? Only statement one is correct. That is option A is correct. Just check we are on the right path or not. Option A is correct. That means we are on the right path. So I hope you love this video. You enjoy this video and gain some perspective, some knowledge about it. So, Namaskaram. Thank you.